Recently, I was admiring this unique corkscrew from Google Earth and absent-mindedly scrolling along a remote canyon when something caught my eye. Wait, did I just see what I think I saw? No, it couldn't be. Mother Nature's finest creations? Here? On the edge of a cliff? Surely that cannot be right. And furthermore, what in the world is this thing? Late at night, I lay awake thinking about them. Eventually, I was compelled to go to extreme lengths just to look at them. And I ended up leaving this place feeling confused and full of questions but being more in love with Mother Nature than ever before. Psst. Subscribe to the POV channel. Welcome to an episode of I Found a Weird Thing on Google Earth, so I'm going to check it out. I'm a simple man. I see rock boobs on Google Earth. We got to go investigate them. place has got a little bit of a spooky vibe to it. I can't say exactly why. Yep. This is pretty cool. It almost looks like there's a charred layer in this rock. Like, look at that. That's the normal side of the rock. And this looks like ash. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. <laughs> That thing is also something I noticed when I was looking at this place. I present to you all the first boob. Oh my 
God, it's magnificent. This thing is, it's huge. It's gotta be like 50 feet tall. And I haven't even seen the second one yet. We are approaching the under boob. Now we're in the middle of the cleavage. There's the second boob. Not quite as big as the first. Oh, oh my goodness. Echo! Tui doesn't understand echoes. Good boy! Are you a good boy? Pretty good echo in here. I'm very impressed. And, um, I mean, honest, like, legitimately, this one right here is uh, really surprisingly life-like. It, it, it's shaped like a perfect boob. I mean, it's crazy. It's even got a It's got all the anatomy if you know what I mean. It's really Surprisingly realistic, but they're uh, kind of cool. They're, they're really beautiful It's got me wishing for home Unfortunately, I could not climb to the top of them. They're just a little bit too steep Also, you know wouldn't want to blemish their 
their natural untouched beauty. So we're gonna keep exploring around. I'm not disappointed. 10 out of 10. I'm starting to get the sense I'm probably gonna be walking out of here in the dark. And I forgot my headlamp, so whatever. Because what we have to do, we have to hike all the way around the rims of these canyons just to get 30 feet away from where we just were standing. Check this thing out. Whoa. Come on. It is so hard to get around here. I'm like dodging and weaving through little mini canyons and stuff and avoiding crypto. This thing is so weird. That is where we just were over there. And now we are looking at this huge cone shaped thing. This thing is wild looking. Looks like a, kind of looks like a melted soft serve ice cream cone, doesn't it? I'm gonna see if I can get on top. That'd be a cool spot to fly it. And then right around this corner, this canyon does a really cool little corkscrew. So I'm gonna also film up and over, looking down at the corkscrew. This thing is so cool looking.
All right, wow, this place is so weird. Look at this rock, looks like a shell. We got miles to go, it's starting to rain, and uh, we gotta get home before it's dark. What a crazy place. This has been one of the strangest, land strangest landscapes I can ever remember seeing. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. This is Nolan Fisher, aka the POV channel. And if you like this video, let me know. We gazed upon Mother Nature's beauty and were impressed and in awe by the shapes that nature can create. Yeah, this is great. This is great. Hey, at least there's a little ephemeral waterfall. That's cool.